Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Simon here from Chicken Stock Festival UK. I'm here with uh, Jamie Williams from Jamie Williams and the Roots Collective. How you doing, Jamie? Yeah, good. Good, Simon. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Get, looking forward to getting back out gigging and doing festivals and things, you know. Getting yeah, back to imagine. proper life again. Yeah, okay, absolutely. I think everyone is at this point. Um, how's lockdown been treating you? Well, I've got this little dog and my wife and they've been looking after me, you know, and uh, <laughs> I've been getting beer from the local shop across the road and I'm walking the dog, you know, and Jenny's been looking after me. And uh, so, yeah, I've survived it, mate. You know, that's what it's all about. We've had my old dad, he's, he's been living, he lived with us for about a month. So, yeah, 84 year old, yeah, with diabetes type two. But yeah, we so we've, we've done yeah. a bit, we've, we've, we've kept going, you know, we've we kept kept together. You know, yeah, good. So it's not it's not been too bad. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I think it's a much slower pace of life, isn't it, at the moment? Walking the dog and you know enjoying the enjoying the time you have rather than sort of crashing through life, which we all seem to do. Um, so what, I mean, I, I know you spoke. Uh, I know you just said sort of um, looking forward to gig, gigging again when you get out, uh, when when this is all over. But is there anything else you're sort of really looking forward to when when lockdown's all done? I'm looking forward to chicken stock. <laughs> well, of course, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, well, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, the main thing is, is, is for me, uh, is getting out, going to gigs, playing gigs, doing festivals, you know, playing festivals, and that's that's my life most of the time, you know, I suppose. And have you uh, in that sense, but that's 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 what I'm all about. Have you spoken to the rest of the band and how how are they getting on? I know you've been uh, sort of started to have these social distance yeah, rehearsals. Yeah, we've had rehearsals and um, yeah, we've worked on a few new songs and uh, yeah, we're all close contact. We're on t contact all the time. Yeah, so no, it's it's we're all we're all um, champing at the bit to get out there and do what we do. You know. Because of course, because you've got a new album out. So uh, tell tell us about your new album, Jamie. Yeah, it's called "Do What You Love," and you can purchase from um, our website, which is JW Roots, and also it's also on Bandcamp, JWRC Bandcamp. Do what you love, and it's all we're also on vinyl as well this time. So it's uh, it's yeah, we've got it on tape, vinyl, oh, and um, CD. CD, so it's uh, it's come out really well. And we're really happy with it. So it's uh, we feel it's the best one we've done so far. We say that about every album, I know, but that's what you should get. You should get. <laughs> to get better, you know. We'll reach the peak eventually. But I don't it, think it's I good. Think you just keep that. going, keep going upward trajectory. <laughs> 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 so, so what are some of the sort of inspirations behind the album and behind your music as as a songwriter and as a band? Um, well, we're all Beatles fans, I say that, and they were a massive influence on me growing up. Certain amount of Elvis growing up, uh, but then I suppose you could see the Rolling Stones were definitely another one, and The Who, uh, Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, Van Morrison, and then more up to date bands. I suppose you look into the 90s, you go Oasis and Radiohead, things like that. But yeah, it's always been about sort of blues rock country and soul with me really that sort of thing you know so we have our bluesy solely ones and we have our slightly country uh, country rock ones as well you know so it's always good fun we try and keep it fresh and uh, not get stuck in a rut you know and enjoy ourselves mainly yeah and drink plenty thing. of beer afterwards <laughs> that's also <laughs> the main thing um so i oh, know we've been uh we just we spoke about you sort of started um Toying with some new songs with the band, but uh, one thing I found is lockdown's been really good for uh, sitting at home writing music. I've, I've found a sort of a newfound inspiration to write. So, uh, have you found that, or has it been a bit more of a, a block for you? Yeah, I've been right. I've been writing a lot. Yeah, I've been right. I've written a lot. Yeah, but I have to write a lot to get good ones, you know. So I've got a couple of good ones, I think. But there's, you know, I've been writing a lot anyway. You know, I've been writing a lot. So yeah, it's been been that way with much, as much with me, you know, because it's, you're having to sit home, so the old inspiration gets you and um, 
you go and uh, you go and write it down. Yeah. Often, sometimes if it's late at night and I've had a few beers and I'm watching a music program, that might get a bit of inspiration. That often helps. You know, or watching a bit of music on YouTube. You know, we've had a little bit of that. We've had our YouTube evenings, drinking beer and wine, and watching YouTube, and we always end up somehow. We always end up at the George Harrison tribute concert from 2002. We always end up there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I keep watching the Live Aid stuff back around, similar, similar sort of situation. <laughs> so what um, what advice would you give to a young musician or, you know, people, a band starting out, trying to trying to find their groove? What sort of advice would you give to them? Uh, do it because you love it. Yeah, yeah, got to love what you do. You really got to love it because it's, it's not a lot of money in it. I mean, they'll say, it's, you know, unless you really make it big. But then you've got the press and all that shit, haven't you? So, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Um, it, it's sort of like, I don't know, I think you do it because you love it. you got to do it because you love it. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. So, and Jane... I, go on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, you I mean, do it because you love it, yeah. You're going to... Um, we, we, you, you've uh, you sent us a recording of your one of your social distance uh, practices, and we're going to see that in just a minute. So tell us about the song that you, you we're going to hear from you um, and, and the background of that. Oh, well, look, Oh yeah, little black book. Yeah, it's one of uh, it's one of our good live live numbers. You know, it's a good fun number. But I brought it in, and um, and uh, Dave and Jake they put this um, Bo Diddley beat to it, and Jake come up with a bass line. And it, yeah, so it's, it's always a good live one for us. That little black book gives an idea of what we're about. You know, that's on our sort of bluesy soul-y type ones. So that one, you know, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, we, we like playing that one. It's always a good good fun. People like it, so that's excellent. Yeah. I mean, Jamie, you're a you're a chicken stock veteran with the uh, with with Jamie and the Roots Collective and uh, acoustic stuff, and uh, you know you've come in in very different many different varieties into the festival. So we we love having you there, and we really look forward to seeing you um, you and the guys next year perform. So Jamie, do you want to introduce your song for us one last time, and then we'll uh, and we'll we'll have it here. We'll have a listen. This is Jamie Williams and the Roots Collective playing Little Black Book. Thanks very much, Jamie. <laughs>
Yeah. 